And in the turn two, here we go. So, Butcher rolls for four focus this turn, which is, well, twice as good. And so he's able to have a focus to allocate to his Heavy War Jack and actually have enough focus to cast something. So he does cast Fury on the Doom Reavers, which again, normally wouldn't be possible, but we both made the mistake, so it's totally fine. Which that gives them a couple extra strength, but minus defense. And so they charge into the Lancer. However, only one is in charge range, so the rest have to run. And so he chooses wisely to move up and engage as much as possible. And so now my Lancer and my Charger are engaged in combat, so they aren't able to move or shoot or do anything of their own volition until all those Doom Reavers are dead. And so first Doom Reaver hits, and he gets four dice, and it's dice minus three with that spell plus his charge, plus his weapon master. And so, luckily, only one was in range. If all of them would have been ranged, my Warjacks probably would have been, well, dead. And the other Doom Reaver is moving up quite quickly, and another one moves up, runs, and is in now engaging two of the Black 13th and my Ironclad. So those Doom Reavers are just, they're just annoyingly silly. And then his heavy warjacks run up nice and close. And I'm starting to feel the pressure because Kidor are supposed to be slow. They're supposed to be big and powerful and slow. And all of a sudden they're right nice close to me. It's only it's only turn two. And so it looks like turn three is going to be a very deciding round. But before we get ahead of ourselves, Signar, time to retaliate. I will get three folks to the Lancer and one to the Charger. Now the Black 13th, they're gonna try something special just because they are special and they can do such things. And so he moves back to the, just the greatest extent and so he's just barely in combat with those two inches. And then Watts in the back shoots through and he can shoot, uses Black Penny so he can shoot in the combat without any penalty and barely rolls the exact six enough to kill him. Then Lynch tries to shoot his beacon to reveal stealth units because you're the axe of stealth right now because he's in forest, but the stealth misses because what or Ryan was then going to put her her AOE down, but now can't target anyone because they're all out of I, I can't see them at all, and so then she shoots two brutal damage shots into the juggernaut and is able to damage it a bit. Might as well do something, but unfortunately. I couldn't, my right flank is still quite wide open. So, Ironclad moves up, just barely squeezes through with the Black 13 moving back just that bit, are able to do it, but I miss terribly and I'm not able to kill that remaining Doom Reaver. So, then it's my turn to fail miserably with my Jax. <laughs> no, I, I need sixes to hit this time. And so, I do manage to kill one. I have three more focus, buy an attack, miss, buy another attack, miss, buy one more attack, and just barely hit, and kill, with my spear. And the another Doom Reaver did die, we, because we for, I forgot about the minus one defense, the Charger did kill one, even though it showed that he missed on both of them. So then Striker moves up, doesn't do anything, I actually forgot to cast my feet, or activate my feet rather. But, we'll see, I, I should be fine, he's mostly out of charge range, I think, so, not too bad. So, the long gunners combine range attack into the one and killed it, and then the remaining all shoot individually because you can't do a combined range attack, a CRA, into combat. And so I need 11s to hit, and so this is me rolling, and so if I miss, it's a 12 to hit my jack. So I have to roll an 11 or a 12. Which you see, I do not do ooh, not a once. But hey, if you have lots, might as well try. So stay tuned for part three. <laughs> 